Hello everyone, Creative Inus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and look at this slide and today we will learn how to design it. So please subscribe to our channel, join the membership and the very first step is to design the background and for that we will insert a stock image from the Micro 365 inbuilt option where we can you know find some nice stock images and we will pick one of the technology related pattern here i think this one uh, this one looks good let's use it so insert the image and now we have to insert a layer around a rectangle remove its outline and we have already already placed a color palette here just paste it on this slide so that we can use it to create a beautiful background using the first color so the first color we will use it as a background and rest of the colors we will use it for the infographic shapes now what we have to do is we have to create a gradient out of this single solid color so we will use three gradient stops one will be the actual color the medium uh, the middle gradient stop the first gradient stop will be the lighter version of it and the third gradient stop will be the darker version of it slightly increase the transparency on the second or third gradient stop so you have to kind of do some testing here and experiment with uh, transparency levels and positioning to create a beautiful output also you can adjust the uh, you know positioning of each gradient stop if you want and you can change the gradient type as well i have kept it radial to make it look more dynamic rather than linear linear will be a very straight gradient now again duplicate the layer so now we have two layers insert this big circular shape and we will subtract it from the rectangular layer that we have duplicated we are doing this to create some nice background patterns here so we have this nice shape change the gradient type to linear from top to bottom on both the gradient stops fill white color and on the second gradient stop increase the transparency and move this gradient stop towards the middle like 50% or 60% and on the first gradient stop increase the transparency now you have to copy this shape and increase its width towards the left again duplicate it and further increase it towards the left I think we can adjust the background color as well let's further modify the gradient I think this is looking better now further increase the width of the third shape like this as you can see on a screen now insert a rectangular shape and subtract it from it by using the merge shapes option and you will get something like this so this kind of pattern looks really good it adds uh, a depth in your design now the base is ready and we have to create the infographic and the content for it and you have to insert the rounded rectangle reduce its roundedness remove its outline 
and we will use gradient color as per the color palette at the top we will use the second color from the color palette to fill it inside this rounded rectangle so we have filled gradient color into it so we have picked three shades of the second color from the color palette and filled these three shades inside the three gradient stops and now change the angle of the gradient on this shape and we have moved the brighter part towards the top left and you can slightly increase the transparency levels on the first and third gradient stop to reveal the background shade as well this gives a really you know immersive kind of look and feel now duplicate this shape and insert a circular shape and create uh, an oval like shape and place it over like this select both these shapes press subtract now we will fill gradient color and on both the gradient stops fill white color make sure it is linear from top to bottom and on the first gradient stop increase the transparency to 100% and on the second gradient stop keep it like 30 to 40% and place it over the shape like this you can further adjust the positioning of the gradient stops now again duplicate the rounded rectangle and again insert a circular oval shape and this time we will create a small cutout so place it like this select both these shapes go to merge shapes press subtract and place it like this and you can see it really looks good and and the kind of realistic effect it gives so that's what I really like now we have to insert the text box here let's select the font I have picked monster at black increase the font size and write 01 you can also write a b c d and place it here change the text color to match with the base color now select the text go to text options here text effects apply shadow effect increase the blurness play with the transparency and size and angle until you get the desired result make sure the shadow looks natural let's try the reflection as well but i don't think it's required here further increase the text size i think it will look good here you have to position it well you can position it at the center as well totally up to you now select the base of the first infographic shape and add the reflection as well I don't think it's coming out really that well at the moment but let's keep it for now and we will see if we really need it once everything is done and we can now in insert an icon here so i have just placed a random icon this icon represents bug so i've selected it randomly let's place it at the bottom right corner insert a text box and 
now you can write the text as per your topic of the presentation or the slide information it can be in the form of heading subheading a small description you can add some numbers some icons some small shapes in fact you can also add some kind of small vector svg as well so you can be creative here and try different things i'll keep it simple and minimal with the text heading subheading add a small description with call to action i have a very unique kind of call to action in my mind so keep watching this video and we will add a small call to action button here after the description now let's insert description here so you can write the description make sure it's small easy to read and it shouldn't be lengthy because no one you know a time to read long sentences in a presentation so here is some important text that i have written adjust it as per the size of this infographic rectangle so while designing always focus on text styling as well because many people ignore this part they always focus on the shapes and the designs and the colors but very less give focus towards the text part now again insert the rounded rectangle remove its outline and fill the same graded color as you have filled on the background shape now go to the shape effects and apply shadow effect increase the blurness and the transparency and you will get a shape like this also i think you can play with the transparency levels at, as well on one of the gradient stop and it will give a very nice output so this is the call to action that i was talking about so this is a very beautiful button that we have created let's edit text and you can write a call to action like discover learn more or you can add slide number in fact you can also add some number here if you don't want to make it a call to action you can also you know showcase it as a you know placeholder for some stat or some number you want to highlight so i've removed the reflection effect as of now select all these shapes group them together now duplicate so you know most of the job is done now it's the time to you know reuse the components and change the colors that's it and the shape is almost ready again duplicate it so you can keep it in the straight line as well i am using this zigzag kind of style so now you can change the content of the shapes as well as per the topic of your presentation now select all these make sure these are well aligned first to like the first and the third shape should be top aligned and the second and the fourth shape should be bottom aligned and make sure these are distributed horizontally as well now we have to change the colors also you can change the icons as well as subheadings so i have fast forwarded that part now comes the colors now we have to pick the third color from the color palette and change the color on the three gridded stops 
we will use the main color in the in the gradient stop which is in the middle on the first gradient stop we will use the lighter version of it and on the third gradient stop we will use the darker version of it so the steps are same as you did in the case of the first shape the only change is the change in the color scheme similarly change the color for the text the number 0 to and for the lower third so you have to change the color in three items on each shape the base the text and the call to action so the steps are similar and similarly you have to do it for the third shape as well as the steps are similar so i have fast forwarded this part because if you want to see what's happening here you can see how we did it for the first and second shape and now let's insert the arrows for that you have to search arrows in the icons and you can pick a nice icon here i think this one will look good and you can place it here to indicate the direction so directions will come if it's a linear process like step one step two step three step four although it's quite evitable from the numbers that these are four steps but still we can add it for the aesthetic purpose icons look good and also you can change the color scheme of these icons as per the shape they represent and you can see the overall look and feel of this slide is looking really beautiful glossy it has depth in it it looks more realistic there is a kind of you know reflection some light over it so it has got all those beautiful components and it really helps in making this slide look more visually you know presentable and good so i hope you will like this design and i'm doing some finishing here increasing the transparency for the for all these four shapes on the first gradient stop select the base shape and select the first gradient stop and increase the transparency so yeah this is the slide for you and you can learn it try it you can create it email the slide to me and i'll share my feedback so i hope you like it so please subscribe to our channel and you can also join the membership to support us like and share and do not forget to download this beautiful slide from the g drive link provided in the video description so see you guys in our next video keep subscribing liking and sharing